day nine of the John Muir Trail, and guess who got some sleep last night? You are looking at her. Uh, I do not recommend going over Muir Pass with only a couple hours sleep. As, so as soon as I set up last night and laid down, right out. Absolutely right out. And I'm someone who has trouble going to sleep, whether it's uh, on a trail or, or with blackout curtains. So that's actually something to, to note to write home about. Uh, today I'm going over Mather Pass. I still have like 12 miles till Mather Pass, and it's a 4,000 foot elevation gain, so it'll probably take most of the day. I um, made a plan at, hold on, I got some roots to step over. I made a plan at, what was it, MTR, near Trail Ranch, that I would do a pass a day, and that would kind of put me on the proper schedule I wanted to be at. There's different varying distances between um, these different passes, so these first couple days should be full days, but um, might be some shorter days coming up too. But that gives me a lot of um, leeway for those last two days, because I still don't know what's going on with the fire, which is an actual problem. That one's on a mosquito bite. That's an actual problem. Um, so I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to summit Whitney or if I'm just going to have to go out Cottonwood Pass, which is a good extra 20 miles to the south. So, um, right now, just looking at one pass a day. Going to get updates through my inReach and getting started on my very, very long ascent all the way up to Mather Pass. And just to show you where I'm starting, um, this is that nice meadow I camped kind of near. But still far enough for, away from water um, for it to be a legal campsite. <laughs> Alright, so I just noticed the water is now kind of flowing against the direction I'm heading, whereas before it was flowing with the direction. So this must be Palisade Creek. Um, way back here was a sign for Middle Fork Trail. So the, the Middle Fork of the Kings River must have turned in that way. And now I'm going up Palisade Creek. Uh, the interesting thing is on the other side of Mather Pass is the south fork of the Kings River. It's kind of cool to, to realize I'm up where these rivers are forming. Eventually those forks will meet and become one river. And then when you're at the passes, those big mountain lakes are the very, very start of those rivers. I'm trying to film this way because if I film into the direct sun, it's getting even more hazy. My, my phone case is getting very dirty and hard to clean and a little scratch too, so I'll try to work on that. But this is the valley I'm in. I've got about six miles of this until the Golden Staircase, um, which will start that big ascent up to Mather. And I just bumped into a ranger who said that there might be some severe lightning and thunderstorms today. Um, so it didn't look like it now, but of course these can develop. So, um, I might not be going far today. If that happens, I might have to backtrack and come back down here. But I've got that built in. But hoping to get over Mather today before anything like that happens. That's a little bit better video quality, don't you think? Uh, I pulled my phone out of my case. Let's see how this goes. I need to crack my case open. It's a life-proof case. I'm going to take it out to film, and it definitely needs to be in there the rest of the time, otherwise it will die. Um, but I'm getting to the top of the Golden Staircase, uh, you, so you can see the rest of the valley there. It starts basically at the bottom of the valley, and it's just this light-colored rock that you see here, but they've actually built in steps in places, which I hate because you have to take a big step up. It uses a lot more energy and oxygen. So I booked it through the valley uh, to get up here. Because um, I know things move a lot slower above 10,000 feet, which I'm above now. So, uh, just taking a little bit of a rest. And then you can see I'm getting up into those higher elevations now. And should be hitting the Palisades area. Uh, which are kind of those tiers and levels that I was talking about on Muir uh, yesterday. And then, uh, then get to the pass. The clouds look pretty good right now, um, but I know these thunderstorms can roll in at any time, and pretty quickly. I finished my climb up the Golden Staircase, and I'm currently in the Palisades Lake area. I would like to give a shout out to 
PCT 21, 2021 PCT through hiker Cheese It, who I met as I was finishing that climb up the golden staircase and he said he had seen my video. So uh, if you ever see this video, nice meeting you. Uh, good luck or hope you enjoyed the rest of your trip. And uh, thanks for the deep wilderness mid-climb ego boost. It's coming up on Palisade Lakes and the Mather Pass. So clouds still look pretty good, but there are significantly more, especially in this area, than there were before. So probably shouldn't be dilly-dallying too much on this. Because it's not just making it over the to the pass, it's over the pass, and then down the other side where you're not the highest thing. <laughs> You're not the point of least resistance for the lightning. Passing gorgeous lower Palisade Lake. Um, I'm not sure if I explained it yet, but on my 2017 through hike of the PCT, Mather Pass was my absolute worst, most challenging day. First, everything was frozen over, including this lake right here. This was, this was all ice. Um, that was all snowfield back there. So, um, so there's the challenges of going up Mather when it's icy, which it's a completely different pass when it's icy. But that day we also got stuck on a rock trying to get up there. Uh, I got a bloody nose, like a bad one. I ran out of water. There were rock falls. Um, and then there were thunderstorms when we were kind of around this area, which required running across the snowfield and down the golden staircase to get out of those thunderstorms. Now I've been over Mather Pass since, and Mather Pass isn't what I call Mather Bad. <laughs> but another time. And uh, we only have the potential for one of those coming up. But hopefully, hopefully I'll get up there and there will be no problems. Nothing in my hiking experience since then has actually been Mather Bad. <laughs> So I don't think this will be either. So this might be the best view I get of Upper Palisades Lake. Sorry, I'm walking at the same time, which flows down to Lower Palisades Lake. You can see the storm clouds are, actually the lake is rolling in. And then uh, up here where that dip is, to the left of where all those clouds have gathered, is Mather Pass. I just passed somebody else talking about a storm rolling in. Maybe all the rangers have the same uh, information. Um, but yeah, I would like to get up and over that pass. Because if I don't, I've got to come back down and potentially even go back down that golden staircase and then do it all again later. I don't want to do that. If you can hear me breathing hard, I I got up here as quick as I could. Also, it's 12,094 feet. So... Another pass. Sing back here quickly. Hello and goodbye. I gotta get down the other side. Look at all these clouds that have rolled in. Um, yeah, I'm right at the edge of this front. I even dropped a couple drops too. So I'm just gonna race down this. All right, sorry for the shakiness. I'm walking pretty fast. Uh, desperately trying to get down below the tree line before these beginnings of angry clouds come. I already heard some faraway thunder. Also on a more fun note, see these little ponds up here? Those are the very beginnings of the South Fork of the Kings River. Tree line! I can see it! I have been so lucky so far. So lucky this didn't hit yet. Uh, that was kind of rolling the dice to try and actually do the pass today. I can see it though. I can see relative safety. Still gonna be outdoors, but relative safety. You know, honestly, this has kind of been fun to watch because you've obviously got this stuff over here where I have been hearing thunder. But then, if I scroll this way, pan. This is a camera, not a computer. There's blue skies over here. So in this direction is the desert. That's the east side of the Sierra. That's Owens Valley. It's a desert and we just had a heat wave. 
and it's been doing battle right in the middle of this valley for a long time, like basically the whole time I've been coming down. I think there's too much power be behind this, but I also think that's that's part of the reason why I was able to get over the pass and down here, because this, this was a fast moving storm. I can feel the wind picking up already, but I've had an, an, an incredible amount of time to get down a tree line, to get over the pass and down a tree line. And I think that's because of this. So go desert air. And we have a winner in the battle for the valley. The winner is the desert air. Because um, with my experience with these Sierra storms, once the sun starts poking through these storm clouds, the rage is over. There's no threat anymore. I don't hear the thunder anymore. Um, I did see some some place get hit with some hard rain earlier. I saw that in the distance. Uh, None of that came here. Definitely heard some thunder uh, in the distance. None of that hit the valley. Desert air for the win. I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't have to run the rest of my day. Still heading downhill with the sun out and less drama. Uh, the trail does parallel the Kings River here, the South Fork of the Kings River. And you can see it's <clears throat> it's gotten a little bit more flow to it now. Uh, <laughs> Every little bit I make downhill here, the, the trail just parallels it. Every little bit I make downhill, a new tributary joins it. So it just keeps picking up water and water. In uh, high flow times or big snow years, um, all you do is you see how this is a canyon here? You just follow the other side. And I mean, yeah, there's some trees here, but you're not exactly bushwhacking when you're doing that. Uh, I know in big snow years people freak out about taking that alternate route. It's literally the same route, just on the other side. Just you don't have the nice trail. But again, it's not even bushwhacking. It's really easy to do. There's no need to cross the crossing in big snow years. Just coming up on the crossing for the South Fork of the Kings River. Um, it's not an exaggeration to say this is a deadly crossing when the snow is melting. Um, all that snow melt just floods those tributaries, floods this area, and it doesn't look like this. This is what it looks like. It's beautiful when um, the water is just coming from those, those little ponds and lakes at high elevation. So um, when there's high water, you cannot ford this. Right now, kind of looks like you can maybe rock hop it. It's a lot of rocks exposed. Let me check it out. So I'm currently looking for camping spots because all the marked ones are taken. Um, but looking back, this is Mather Pass back there. Looks like that's actually getting hit with some rain. Um, so again, glad I got over it when I did. I had to push pretty hard, but um, made it. <laughs> I made it. Well, day nine was exhausting. Um, definitely went uphill at elevation faster than I wanted to. And then I was actually literally running across that kind of tundra area, trying to get to the tree line. Um, cause I kept hearing thunder to the West. Um, but thankfully it never actually got to the Valley. It might get to it tonight, later tonight. We'll see what's going on with, with whatever's going on with that storm. Um, yeah, I definitely wanted to get under tree line and that might sound silly, um, cause usually when we talk about lightning, it's don't stand next to trees, but I mean, when you're above the tree line, you're the tree. <laughs> so there's nothing higher than you. Uh, so definitely wanted to get down to that tree line and I partway up my climb to, um, the next pass, which is Pinchot. And I think I'm like three, you know, half, like two to three miles away. I'll have to check. Um, so depending on what this storm does behind me, um, if it's the typical Sierra thing, it's sunny in the morning and then storms in the afternoon. And if that's the case, God, there's so many mosquitoes here too. If that's the case, um, then tomorrow I should be over the pass before all the drama hits. So, um, Pinchot Pass is tomorrow and, uh, you know, I don't have internet out here. We'll just have to see what the weather does. 